afternoon, random members. I'm Ashley Strauss-Martin, General Counsel for the Realtors Association in New Mexico, and I'm here to talk to you today about changes to the Random Form 1106, Exclusive Right to Sell Listing Agreement. First, in paragraph 8, it now states that brokers are not required to submit verbal offers. As we are all well aware, there are many problems with verbal offers, and here are just a few. First, the sale of real property falls under the statute of frauds, which requires such an agreement to be in writing. So a verbal offer to sell or buy real property is in most cases unenforceable. Second, putting the statute of frauds aside for a moment, most brokers work as transaction brokers, not as agents. A transaction broker generally has no authority to bind the broker's customer or client with his or her words. So a verbal offer from a transaction broker, if accepted, would in no way obligate the transaction broker's customer or client. And lastly, if a broker was accused by his or her customer or client of not communicating a verbal offer made, it would be difficult for a broker to defend him or herself since there's nothing in writing. It would be the client or customer's word against the broker's word that the verbal offer was even made. Remember, broker duties currently requires timely presentation of all offers or counteroffers unless otherwise agreed to in writing by the party. The broker duty does not distinguish between verbal and written offers. But in paragraph 8, the seller now agrees in writing that verbal offers do not need to be presented. I will note that there is a proposed amendment to the regulations pending before the Real Estate Commission that clarifies in broker duties that only written offers need to be presented. In paragraph 9C, which addresses the broker's authorization to take photographs of the property, we've added aerial or drone photography. It's important to note that Rio Rancho recently amended their window peeping ordinance to include images taken by drones. The offense is a misdemeanor and carries with it 90 days in jail and or a fine not to exceed $500. Be sure you are using a licensed drone operator and that you're aware of any applicable local ordinances addressing drone photography, as well as the best practices for using drone photography. Paragraph 11, compensation has been rearranged, but the language has not changed. In paragraph 21, the Homeowners Association paragraph, we've added reference to the Condominium Unit Association and referenced the applicable forms, which include the Condominium Information Sheet and the Condominium Resale Certificate. In paragraph 30, we've added some additional lines to the other section, and in the signature blocks, we've added a place for email addresses. These changes to the random form will be available in Instanet and Zip forms on October 1st, and in Dotloop on October 1st or shortly thereafter. If you have any questions on Random Form 1106, please contact me on the hotline. Thank you and have a great day.